Welcome back to Health Nuts, everyone. With me, and we're in their kitchen at Turntable Nutrition, Adam Archilla. Thank you for joining us today. How thank are you? Thank you for having me. Oh, thank, thank you for well. having us in here. It's a beautiful Happy place. New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, today, we wanted to interview you guys because you guys do a lot for the community. Tell us a little about Turntable Nutrition. Why did you found a company, and what exactly does Turntable Nutrition do? Okay. Well, Turntable Nutrition is focused on giving people access to real nutrition. And we don't mean powders, we don't mean meal replacement shakes and bars, we mean real food and a balanced diet that actually meets your needs. So all of our meal plans are specific to your dietary needs and your goals. So you work with a broad range of people? Absolutely. When did you found the company? You and your wife founded the company, yes. correct? Yes. My wife and I, we started the company. But well, we actually started it out of our one bedroom apartment. Okay. We were meal prepping for ourselves and uh, we were working and our coworkers saw our meals that we were bringing in. And some of them were actually fitness competitors. Mm. And so they were bringing in this plain chicken and brown rice. Nobody wants to do a whole bunch of plain chicken and brown right. rice. And so they asked if we could start prepping some of their meals. And mm. So we started from there, worked our way up. Uh, they told their friends and it kind of grew from there. And um, in about in 2005, that's when we actually incorporated the business. And so we've been in business for about two and a half years. Wow. Now, I mean, on the show, we do a lot of stuff with nutrition. So what are some of the common complaints? Because you see a broad range of people, not just competitors, but the everyday person. So what do you find from what you've seen? Because you not only make the meals, you'll do meal prep, you and caloric intake. You actually go through the whole thing, Absolutely. except eating the food for the people. Um, <laughs> So in regards to what do you see some of the biggest issues that you're addressing that people are like they're grateful because like no one else is doing this? Right. Um, convenience okay. is definitely one. There's very few convenient options out there that are actually balanced and healthy mm -hmm. and meet their nutritional needs. Okay. Um, and that's where, again, convenience because um, they're, they're time, they're unable to get their lunch in or their breakfast in. Nowadays, we're so busy, half of, half the people in America have breakfast as coffee on their way to work, you know? But having a prepared meal that all you need to do is grab it out of the fridge, heat it, eat it on your way to the work, it makes it really convenient and it meets their nutritional needs. When you're working with a competitor, because our co-host Brittany mm -hmm. uh, competes, and your wife actually competes, yes. How would you address, because a lot of times when people, they want to help someone, they're like, I don't know how to necessarily plan the meal. Maybe it's caloric intake, maybe it's protein. How do you specifically fit to a person's specific dietary needs? What makes you go that extra step? Well, when it comes to a fitness competitor, a long-term outlook is the most important thing. If you come to us and you say, I want to do a competition next week, there's a good chance yeah. we can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> But if you come to us and you say, hey, I want to do a competition this year. Let's look into some competitions that are maybe six months out. Let's do a long-term plan that actually works with your body, with your workout regimen. We narrow down your macronutrient ratios. So you're getting a certain number of proteins, certain number of carbs, and certain number of fats per meal. And that actually changes over the course of your workout regimen as you're preparing for your competition. The goal here isn't to be competition ready only on the competition. The goal here is to be competition ready year round. Pretty much being prepared for life. I think a lot of people, they, they, they plan on, rather than focusing on dieting, they should focusing on living right. And that yes. would make a difference in eating. Most people, they're exactly. just like, well, I wanna, how do I eat for a short period of time? It's like, why don't you learn how to eat food long term and then you'll actually learn something. It's not about looking for the end result. It's about changing your lifestyle. Now you also do some other interesting thing a lot of people in the community might not know this. We actually have teamed up with you guys to help feed Las Vegas. So tell us a little about um, how you got involved. I know that we, we have a huge problem with homelessness in Las Vegas. Um, and we recently got into repurposing of food. Uh, what made you guys kind of step up and say, you know, we have to do something about this? Because you and yourself being in logistics, you see the amount of waste in this state. So what are some Absolutely. things you can address to other restaurateurs out there, other meal prep companies, and how they can get involved? Well, food waste is commonplace in restaurants. And over the course of 
restaurant history, it's just become an accounting number. Mm -hmm. This is how much we're going to waste this month. Yeah. Okay. But when you, when you look into it and you look into the numbers, I never realized how significant of a hunger problem we have in our state. Um, for example, I, I read from uh, Sababa that one in four kids in Las Vegas is food deprived. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Yeah. And there are so many restaurants, so many event caterers that are just throwing out food that we could easily take that in, repurpose it, put it into meals that can feed all these children. And so once we were talking with you and you told us about the organizations that are helping these children, we immediately wanted to get involved. So they stepped up. It's not just for profit, it's uh, about helping. Now how can people, number one, find the kitchen? Where are you located in Las Vegas? Uh, website, Facebook, what are the best ways to get a hold of you social media wise and contact information? Yeah, um, we are located off of 95 on Lake Mead. Um, we, our website is www.turntablenutrition.com. Our social media is all Turntable Nutrition uh, Instagram. We are Turntable Nutrition on Twitter and Turntable Nutrition on Facebook. That's easy. So, it's not like you're changing it up, it's pretty much straightforward. Absolutely. When we come back, you're going to see Brittany in the kitchen. She might be eating something. But I mean, they're going to take her around. They're going to show her some of the stuff. You're going to get to see turntable nutrition. She's a fitness competitor. That's why she's eating. And Adam, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. It's thank a pleasure. You, God bless. We'll be right back to Health Nuts. See you in a minute.